Hello. One viewer, I don't know who it is. Can you hear me? If you can hear me properly, just uh, say something in chat if you can. Oh, hang on, someone's messaging me. Uh, you alright, Chad? How's it going? Hello, Nightmare Bugs. Happy to see you all in here. I've, I've never done this thing before, so I thought I'd try it out. I was just just finished work. I was pressure washing the slabs behind me a little bit. I thought I'd jump on here and uh, see what's going on. Have a beer. Let's try and keep these comments up if I can. Hang on a minute. Yeah, whatever. One sec, Chad. Ah, oh, this bloody YouTube thing's rubbish. Um, all messages are visible. Right, there we go. Right, hi, I can see you. Thumbs up. Yes, it has Chad, actually. Um, if, I t if I can turn you around. There it is. I'm going to open it in a minute, I think. And, uh, yeah, get it out. Finally, it's arrived, man, I tell you. Um, can you hear me? Can everyone hear me properly? because there's a lot of building work going on to the side of me. But, um, but yeah, it's finally arrived. It's, I think it's been like nine days since I ordered it. I paid for next day delivery. Um, I called them up about, I called them up twice. Um, yeah, live unboxing, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I called them up twice and I said, yo, where's this, this pole at? Well, they actually called me the second day after I ordered it and they said, oh, we've got a delay on a part. It will be with you the following day. So I was like, all right, sound. Um, you know, thinking, yeah, you'll refund my next day delivery though, wouldn't you? And then, um, yeah, like two days went by, so I sent them, uh, I called them up and I said, any news? And they said, oh, we're miss, still missing that part, but we'll part order it and send you the, uh, just the pole for now, because I've got a fitting for it anyway to attach to my other brushes. And, um, and they said, oh yeah, so we'll send that out tomorrow, so it'll be with you tomorrow sort of thing. Cut to like four days later, it's still not here. So I, rang, I sent them a, like a scathing email the other day and I said, if it's not here by tomorrow, which is today, um, I'm gonna have to go with someone else and refund my order because you know, I've got jobs that are booked in specifically. That's why I bought it and got next day delivery. So, but yeah, whatever. Um, they did, they, ring, they rang me up and they said, oh, do you want um, some sort of uh, compensation? Do you want us to throw anything in? I just, my mind just went blank. I said, oh, I'll have one of them swivel head adapter things. It's only like six quid. I should have asked for something better. But, uh, but yeah, oh well. Yeah, how's everyone doing? Is everyone, everyone had a good day at work or chilling at home? Let me know. Well, I'll try and get this box out. Hello Spencer, how's it going mate? I'm very well. Hello from uh, England to you mate. Hello from Burton. And uh, I'll, ch I'll show you the size of this thing now actually. I don't think I'm gonna fit this in the car to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to um, strap that on the roof of my car, I think, because I don't think it's gonna fit in the back. But yeah, I was just um, sorting out that Wilkes behind me there, because um, I've got to pressure wash a playground at school um, on Friday. So I haven't really got that thing out for a while. Um, so I thought, is it even still working? Because it's only cheap, it's like 400 quid, cheap rubbish. So thought fingers crossed it's still working i just fired it up then and it started pretty much first time which is good i need to try and keep this chat on because it keeps disappearing just about to start waterproofing garage as water pours on the sides oh nightmare mate what is it raining by you then i spent so you haven't missed anything mate it's um we've just started i was just on about my over eight that i ordered like nine days ago um that's finally arrived today um so yeah they've messed me around a bit but they've they've made up for it i guess um, yeah, and that's about it. It's just literally just started. I'm, I'm just double checking. Can everyone actually hear me properly? Because there's loads of building work going on to the side. And um, yeah, it's an over eight in the, uh, the box. I've got a, uh, I don't know what's in here. I think it's probably the brush head, but I'll open that in a minute. I'll uh, grab a knife and um, sort it out. No, nice and sunny. I hope the cement. Oh, nice one, mate. I oh, see you're, hand you're a handy person at DIY. I'm absolutely rubbish with it. That's why I, it's took me about, I, I tried to service that pressure washer behind me. 
change the oil and clear out the um, everything on it. But I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, it took me about three hours tinkering around to actually get it working again. This was like about two months ago. And, um, so when it finally worked, I was like, oh, thank God. So when I was starting that up this time, I was thinking about all my hard work's gone to waste. But now it's working, which is good. I'll, uh, let's see. I'll try and see behind it. Yeah, that's where I've done. So um, yeah, I'm not at a job. I'm at my own house. So. But um, yeah, just something to do. The missus and the kids are away today, so I thought I would uh, just muck around on a bit of a live stream because it's rare that I get a bit of time to do a bit of peace and quiet. Hi Adam, how's it going mate? Good to see you, yes you can hear me. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, I think I need to get like a little separate speaker for my phone to be honest because some of the jobs I've been recording lately I've been trying to speak and uh, yeah, you can't really hear me properly. So, But um, yeah, nice to see everyone here. Change oil, good. Just don't use same oil in engine and pump side. Madness to me, mate. I don't know. I've got engine oil in there. I don't know what pump side oil is, though. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. So I haven't changed anything over on it for a while, but I'll try and fire it up quickly. It's going to be loud, so I'll only, I'll only fire it up for a second. If it fires up first time again, I'll be happy. Um, I run with Ionic, always have. I think of either the Garner 22 or the Over, over 8. Destinations, you must let me know what the over is like. I'll tell you what, I'll open it now actually. Um, bear me, with me one minute, I'll just get a knife. Right, I'm back. All right, I'll try and uh, set you up so you, you can all see this properly. Let's uh, face down the garden, shall we? I'll be able to show it a bit better. Yeah, apologies if I miss any. I can't keep this chat on the screen. It's doing my head in. The pump needs EP oil, extreme pressure. Yeah, it's never been done before, mate, so I guess I'll have to Google that and try and figure out what, what that is all about. Gigantic thing, Jesus Christ. Uh, there we are, that should do, I think. Actually, no, that won't do. I'll face it down, that'll be better. Right, let's have a look. I was actually hoping that there was going to be padding in the top and the bottom, that's why it looks so big, but it's actually this bloody long, <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's have a look at that. Yeah, there we go. That is nice quality, I must admit. 40 feet over eight. This should make my roof jobs a lot easier. It's a lot thicker than I thought it would be as well. Let me just check this chat again. You made me want to finish work and go have a bit. Mate, honestly, I was, I've still got a lot of work to do, to be honest. I'm just, I was just doing windows today. And it was just such nice weather, I thought, man, I don't want to be uh, working in this. So I clocked off about two. What time is it now? Yeah, I clocked off about two, went to the shop, got some beers. And I thought I'd, uh, yeah, open this thing and um, test my pressure washer out. But yeah, this thing, I must admit, this thing does look quite nice. Right, I'll open this, whatever's in this box now as well. Oh, and just if anyone's wondering as well, £710 that cost me, so, yeah. Right. You get some Skittles in there, apparently. See you later, Chair. Thanks for, thanks for hopping in, mate. Um, yeah, you got some Skittles in there. That's nice. I haven't seen that before. It's usually Arabos, isn't it? Um, right. I think I ordered that. Um, I don't know. That's not the swivel head. That's just a long gooseneck. I don't know if I ordered that with it or that comes free. Um, there it is. And that should be, yeah, that's the swivel head adapter that I got free um, because they were late with the order. So, yeah, lovely job there. 
and then I'm presuming this is the brush. Or at least I hope it's the brush. There we are. Yeah, it looks alright, that does actually. There's enough room for four jets, but funnily enough, there's no jets with it. So either that's a mistake or I was meant to order jets that I just haven't. At least I don't think there is. Half now, I'm lying. The jets are there. I was about to kick off then, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll see you later, Spencer. Thanks, thanks for hopping in, mate. Appreciate it, buddy. Right then. So yeah, got my jets, that's sorted. I I'm not gonna even attempt to set this up now, I don't think. I might do, actually. Let me think about it. Try and open this stuff up. Is anyone else in here that's chatting or will I be talking to myself? I don't mind talking to myself, but just so I know, have I missed anything? Hello, Adam. I don't know if I said hello yet, but how's it going, mate? You all right? Uh, right, let's sort this thing out. Try and, um, try and set this camera up a bit better so you can see what I'm doing. Do I want that on there or what? Does that go? I might have to read a little instruction manual on this to be honest with you. Philip Barrow, where are you based? I'm in Burton, mate. Um, yeah, I, I will be moving from here, so I'm not staying here forever, but I don't really know where I'm going yet. Um, but for now, I'm in Burton. Um, what about you, mate? Where are you from? Um, sorry, I just trying to whack these jets in here. Oh, actually, they're clipping quite easy, actually. I thought that was going to be a bit of a struggle. Yeah. Yeah, sound is a pound. And then... Will the pole be for window cleaning or applying chemicals to scrape it? Um, to be honest, mate, it's pretty much... I've got this just for roof cleaning. Um, I don't really do any water-fed pole window cleaning at the moment. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing, um, because it's such an expensive pole, I don't really want to have to be buying another one or even a shorter one. So I think when I start my next window cleaning round, um, which will be after I move and I sort of restart everything again, um, I think what I'll do when I'm going out window cleaning, I'll take a few of the sections off, try and make it about 25 feet if I can, um, or somewhere around that. Sorry, that bloody digger's going again. Um, or somewhere around that, um, and then still use it for window cleaning as well, because if the roofs ever die down, I'd be stuck with a 40 foot that it's a bit too big for your traditional um, not your traditional, but your water-fed pole window cleaning round, really, isn't it? So, um, all right, I'm just trying to figure out how that gooseneck, this thing, Ross and Dale just outside Manchester. Have you thought about doing training days? Um, I've done a couple. Um, it's something I was thinking about eventually when I would consider myself a bit more um, of an expert. You know, I can consider myself like a professional at roof cleaning, but I wouldn't consider myself an expert. There's um, a lot of people out there that I still learn from on a regular basis. So any sort of like paid training days where someone would sort of say, oh, you know, how much would it be to come on a day's work with you and you can teach me everything you know kind of thing. I wouldn't really offer that just yet because I feel like I might be doing a bit of a disservice because some of the, some of the things I still do might be a little bit wrong. Um, I don't think they are, um, but I would prefer for me to go and work with someone who's better than me um, before I would try and teach anyone, you know, because you can pick up bad habits and I might be doing some bad things, some bad habits, um, and teaching a new guy that and he might go and end up making mistakes. So I wouldn't do anything like that, but I have had um, a couple of people work with me now who've never done it before, um, just to gain some experience in. Um, one, of, one of them was a local window cleaner that was around here. He was, he was actually just helping me out. I needed the help, to be honest. And he thought, yeah, you know, he might as well try and learn how to, to do it. You know, I sort of trained him up on the day. Um, and another gentleman was a bloke named Graham who messaged me a long time ago. I was meaning to sort of get into contact with him for a long time. Um, but yeah, I just got too busy. There is still a few people sort of on a waiting list to do like a free day with me. Um, but it's, yeah, it's hard to manage because when I'm busy, sometimes it, I, I'll work, I'll end up working quicker on my own because I don't have to then um, sit there and explain things to people. Um, so when I've got a bit of a backlog to get through, um, 
you know, I'd rather just smash out and then when I start quieting down, then I could probably get people in um, to help out. But I don't know, I'll see how it goes, um, you know, and then, yeah, figure that out eventually. Oh, you right, Chris, how's it going, mate? Zarian in the chat, that's, uh, yeah, that's a friend for a long time. How's it going, Chris, you all right? Trying up the streaming thing, mate. Got inspiration from the last time we were at yours. But um, right, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this thing on here. One second, I think that just clips straight in that. the size of this thing, Jesus Christ. Let me see. Right, so I presume, I don't really know what way that goes, but it should go like that, I think. Um, am I missing anything in it? No, cool. Right, so, oh, okay, I get it. All right, there we are. So that actually just slots in like that. I'll have to figure out how you use this thing in it, that goose note. Oh, oh no, sorry, that is just for a universal thread adapter. Yeah, I know what I'm on about. Silly mate. All right, oh, it's nice how they set it up. You've got the hose straight through there as well. That's pretty sound of them. So you can clock that straight in. I don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. I need to figure out the connections I've got on the bottom. And this thing is actually, feels a bit loose, but like once you close it together, that's like not going anywhere really, so that's pretty good. Yeah, cool. So that's about it. I'm not gonna plug it in or use it because it's gonna be for chemicals only for now. Um, but there is a 40 foot over eight. I'll tell you what, I'll extend it actually. Um, and we can see how big it is. Give me one moment. Right, I'm going to bring you with me down the garden and then you can see the size of this thing. Hopefully the sun's not in your eyes too much. Oopsie daisy. Alright, I'll aim it up like that and then we can have a look. Probably needs to go a bit higher than the uh, roof actually. Right, let me show you this. Oh, have I still got Wi Fi? Oh yeah, where's my Wi Fi going? Right, Ralph, sorry about that, everyone. Oh, sorry. I think I went a bit too far down the garden there tripod's broken everything what's going on here jesus christ right i can't even extend that all the way i'm not gonna be able to take down the garden because it's going to um cut off my live stream again but i'll turn you around all right look at the bloody size of that there's still one extension to go so i don't know how many feet that is there's probably still another six feet oh just less quality i get yeah look at the bloody size of that <laughs> what the hell man so literally i can uh i'll be able to once I've scraped the roof, I'll be able to soft wash an entire roof, pretty much, standing on the ground. 
Um, so I don't even need to be up the, the tower. That is absolutely insane. It feel, felt quite sturdy as well, actually, to be honest with you. All right, I'll set you back down here. Yeah, I've just broke my tripod as well, which is an ideal, but it will do for now. Right. All right, who have we got in here? How you doing, Chris? Are you all right? Are you at work, are you? I'll pop you here for a minute. Yeah, I think that, I think it's all a bit delayed, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Clear me with that racket there. I meant to finish half an hour ago. Uh, home now, I think I might go for a skate. Yeah, mate, I wish I could go for a skate, honestly. There's nothing around here, though. Absolutely nothing. It's a concrete jungle. Uh, what made you go for an over eight? I hear good things. Same as you, mate, I just hear good things. Um, I needed something that wasn't too uh, flexible. Um, and I've heard, as far as getting like 40 foot poles go, that they're some of the most, like, the most rigid one that you can get, really. Um, so I thought I'd go for that one, but 700 quid is bloody expensive. Um, but I'll let you know, I'll give it a good test over the next week or so and let you know how it goes. Either that or having a one-man barbecue, mate. Oh, I wish I could as well. We need to go, we need to have a drink soon, mate. We're allowed in gardens now, they say, so we'll have to meet up and, uh, and do something. Speaking of, I'm just going to grab a beer. You're right back. Yeah, I couldn't actually extend that pole anymore because the, it was cutting off the washing line, but yeah, it felt, felt good at that length, to be honest. I'll have to get it down in a minute because I'm paranoid about the, the wind knocking it over. In fact, I'll do that now just in case, but I'll turn you around. Sorted. Need some more Elvis juice, mate. I haven't, I haven't had any of the brew dogs in a while either, man. Need some myself. I can't. I'm so happy that things have opened up a bit now. Um, so as soon as I get some time, can you hear me? By the way, with that bloody digger, here it is. But... See him every single day for the past week and a half, I think. There you go. Just turn the engine off now. But um, yeah, I'm so glad everything sort of opened back up again and even just going in the gardens and stuff, it'll make a lot of difference to everyone, I think. Hello, Adam, how's it going, mate? Good stuff, right. All right, don't know what to do now. I think, the, think it's noise cancelling quite well. Cheers, mate, nice one. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, how's, how's work going then, Chris? Is, um, are you busy? Are you too busy even enjoying your new job or, or what? One second. Let me just tidy up. I can't sit sit around with mess. I need to tidy up real quick. Ah, so that fell straight out of the pole as well. Not very loud, cool. That's the main thing. I've been trying to sort of record some videos in the garden for the past like week or so, but every time I come out to do it, it's just noise, it's too loud. Do you use a surface cleaner? 
or just a lance on the Wilkes. Just a lance, mate, at the moment. Um, I don't. I think it would handle a surface cleaner, um, but for now, because I'm not upgrading yet, because um, I've got a million other things to buy. But um, as soon as I do upgrade, I will get a surface cleaner. But for now, I'm not sure if it would handle it. Um, it's powerful, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just I don't want to sort of waste the money on something if it's not going to handle it yet. But this is the lance that I use on it. I've got this one from Rutland Pumps, it's actually really nice quality. The one that comes with it um, is, is rubbish, absolutely trash. It just leaks as soon as you get it. Um, I think literally by my second job, it was already leaking out of the top, it was spraying, and out of the bottom as well, where it connects to the hose, it was also leaking. Um, so I got this from Rutland Pumps, um, and it's been really good quality so far. I'm actually really pleased with it. So it's a lot lighter than the other one as well, which is nice. But yeah, it's a smart setup. I'll turn it on in a minute. And what else we got? Hi Rob, how's it going mate, you alright? And Maz, hello Maz, nice to see you in here. Hi friend, the weather looks lovely in the UK. You having a day off? I've been at work today mate, it's um, 25 past three, but I finished at two, I just did a few windows today and, um, and came back. Got there. Just checking over, making sure this equipment's all right so I don't have to send another angry email to Streamline. Uh, right, so let me just tidy up these boxes. Need to borrow that for my yeah mate next time oh it's a bit far for you to come and pick me up isn't it but next time we can um whack it in the uh whack it in the car if you want we can bring it he's a beast though it's so loud uh do you use sodium hypochlorite on roofs over there um yeah, people do i don't personally um it's just I'm, I'm a bit scared of it to be honest with you um i think it's more of a thing if you're working with two then um it can be really good um because you've got the opportunity to have a second geezer like rinsing down the you know the windows and the upvc and everything below it um, but when you're working on your own it's a bit more high risk so i choose not to use it um and it's not licensed like it's not health and safety licensed or whatever the phrase is over here at the moment um so yeah as a solo i just i, I wouldn't risk it. it does look good though don't get me wrong um but i just stick with the biocide on the roofs for now um it might be something i venture into eventually Where's the mini helper? Hope the family are all well. Yeah, they're away at the moment. They're off in, um, my second daughter has got a hospital appointment today. So they're off going towards uh, Coventry today because um, she has to see a specialist because um, it's something to do with her foot. Um, so yeah, they're off there today. Um, so yeah, I've got the house to myself. So I just went to work, came back and thought I'd do, do this thing. It's been nearly 28 minutes already. You know, I don't mind the journey. So for sure we'll do that whenever you're free, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm pretty much busy for about three weeks of April. I'm pretty like rammed, so we could do something towards the end of April if you want, mate. Um, that'd be fun. I'd really like to I'll get, get Jess in on it as well. He's working with me on Friday this week, so that'll be fun. I'll make a funny video as well. Yeah, I wish there was a way that I could just keep this chat up on the screen, but I can't figure it out. Yeah, I hope everyone's okay anyway. Five of you in here, I appreciate joining, so I'm not sitting here all on my own. But um, I don't know how long I'll just do this for, as long as people are watching, I'll stay on it, I guess. But um, I just thought I'd try it out, see how it goes. It's like probably the worst time to do a live stream because it's still work hours on a sunny day. So I should have done it on the night, really, but it's nice to sit out in the garden anyway and have a good time. Might turn that pressure washer on in a minute as well. You might have to turn your volumes down though if you do. Yeah, he was telling me. Yeah, I can't wait for it, man. When you get a free day as well, Chris, we'll have to. Um, you'll have to come up and do a job with me as well. It'd be really fun. As soon as I get something semi-interesting going again, uh, would you ever consider going across to pressure washing roofs, knowing how much of a ball lake it is? Again, it's the same thing, mate. It's like working on my own. I feel like I was speaking to that Stephen that I was working with um, Kent Property Cleaning. Um, and he said that job that we were working on on that day, if he did that, that would be a two to three day job, um, more like three days just because of the clearing up. Obviously you can charge you know, a bit more of a premium rate, so you might get your, your extra days worth out of it, but literally probably almost a whole day 
added onto the job is spent clearing up and tidying up the property and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, it's a lot of extra work. Um, you know, and Biocide will get the similar results, you know, over time. It's just, but it's one of them. I will do it eventually, probably not pressure washing, but I think I'll do steam cleaning, um, which is equally as messy. But um, I just think that low pressure on the reef is a lot uh, more easier for me to work with than high pressure. Because some of the, when you do a lot of rouge, you, you, you know, you'll know yourself, you start to realize that you might get a good run of about 10 roofs in a row and then a, one roof will come up and it's, you won't know until you're halfway through the job, but it is in such a bad state. And I always do think to myself then, imagine if I was there with the turbo nozzle, like blasting that out. There's gonna be things flying out of that roof left, right and center. And I think, yeah, you've got to, I think you've got to really pick and choose which is a good roof to pressure wash and what one isn't. So steam cleaner, you can kind of get away with most roofs, I think, um, but I'm not an expert on it, so I don't really know, to be honest. So, you, you know, you'll have to let me know about that if you're any good at it. Yeah, there's, I don't think there's any more for show and tell today. I think my, uh, it's Paul. I'm oh, quite enjoying it, man. <laughs> I like looking at it. I can't actually believe that uh, this thing, I, I could literally hold that in one hand. I could find the center point of it. I could hold that and it does not, it barely weighs a thing and it's 40 feet. If you're bearing that in mind to the Renegade that I use, the Renegade is probably a little bit heavier than that and it's 10 feet left. So I'm really excited to use this. All going well, Airsoft on the 17th of April if you're free to. Is that a Sunday, is it? Um, I don't know, every day is a weekday for me, but um, yeah, I might be able to do it, mate. I might be able to actually, because I'm not too far from there anyway. So yeah, I'll let, I'll let you know, mate, I'll jot it in. I know I'm, uh, yeah, off the top of my head, I'm booked on the 19th, so I should be able to do it, yeah. Oh, right. What else we got? You ever consider that? Right, read that one. Yeah, ball like for sure, yeah, definitely. It's, oh, Saturday. Yeah, it should be fine. I think, I think I'll be up for it, mate. Um, I'll wear my glasses this time as well because I literally could not see a, a thing last time. Two weeks today, yeah. Yeah, I, I might be down for it. Pencil me in. Um, and I'll sort of let you know close to the time because it. If we have like a little spell of bad weather, then I get held up then. So yeah, but sounds good to me. I should be able to do it. Might fire this thing up real quick. Three, what's that? Three weeks? Two weeks Saturday. Three weeks, just gone. This, is it, this year is absolutely flying by. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this year is absolutely flying by for me. I, c I cannot believe that it's April already. Well, nearly April already. It's ridiculous. All right, I might fire this little beast up quickly. See if it works the second time in a row. You might want to lower your volumes because um, it does get quite loud. Hope I don't knock anything over.
good for me. Hope that wasn't too too loud for everyone. Yeah, that started uh, the first try again. Then that's that's made my day. That has. So yeah, when you buy buy cheap, buy twice. They say so. I stress about that thing every time. Right, what we got here? What have I missed? Rob, when you came across exterior cleaning from the windows, did you find you had a dry spell of new clients? Um, like I said before, Tia, you had a few massive roofs and a few gutters, but not getting any new clients. When you came across exterior cleaning from the windows, yeah. Yeah, mate, when you first start um, and you sort of reform your business again, um, yeah, it goes a bit dead um, and it can be a bit worrying. Um, the reason I stopped Windows was because I had like a massive burst of loads of people saying, oh, can you do this, this, this and this? So I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, cause I was putting out a few adverts out there and then quickly I got through that work and then nothing else came in. And I was like, oh no, I've made a huge mistake here. I'm never gonna financially recover from it. Like, and. Um, yeah, but then if you keep advertising and you keep putting pictures up there and just doing what you can, it starts to creep in again. And what I'd recommend is just do every single avenue for advertising and um, websites, check a trade, you know, you name it, do all of it. Um, it's going to be expensive when you start, but you're going to start getting like immediate work in and then you can cut off the things that are not really working for you. So if your Facebook adverts aren't working, just forget about them, They're, you're saving every month then. If your checker trade isn't working, just cut that off. But whatever the things that are working, hone in on that. If it's your website that's bringing in your loads, then keep improving it every month, keep putting the pictures up there and stuff. Because um, I think it is different for everyone. It's like, I know people that have like tons of success through the website and I don't really get much from mine. Um, and I've tried everything um, that I can really to figure it out, but it's not, but other avenues are what sort of benefits me basically. But yeah, literally just try everything that you can. Um, you know, and if it gets really desolate, I always think then just go to door knocking, just get yourself a, a good amount of leaflets going and just get knocking some doors. Because if you're persistent with door knocking, um, you will always come back with something, you know what I mean? Even if it's just one gutter clear, which could be 70 quid, you know, at least you've come back with something. It's better than sitting around in your house, not having that 70 quid. So that's what I'd recommend. CA says, hi, I'm Jewish. Hi, I'm Sid. <laughs> yeah, good for you, mate. Hope you all like that little pressure washing segment there. I've still got the rest to do, but there's not much. It takes like two minutes. I'm gonna eat these skittles. It says I might. Like, did that stop then? I don't know. I'll, cook, I'll turn this off in a minute anyway. I think it's been a good enough test. It works okay, doesn't it? I've got absolutely everything down here. So my battery charger, everything. Looks fine, cool. It's been a clean of just emailed me about something. I know you say a lot about struggling with your arms. Do you want to come to the gym when they finally open the pub after? <laughs> yeah, a bit just a bit of a drive, mate, yeah. If I would if not, I do actually need to start. Hold your stream might be an interesting idea. Oh man, I'd love to do this. I'd love to literally just to make YouTube videos full time, but with my channel, um, I need to work to make videos. So yeah, it wouldn't really work for me. Um, but yeah, speaking of you, I'd, I'd really need to go to the gym, to be honest. I won't need to do, I've got like a, a tennis elbow going on here. Even today I was cleaning the window and it just started pinging. Um, and it really hurts. I, need, I think I need to go to the doctors, but I'm worried if they say, oh, you need like an operation or something. Um, it could mean like, I don't know, six weeks out from work or something. I just I can't really afford that at the moment, but it's bloody killing me sometimes. So what's the next big purchase for you after your dose of Trump? Um, I was thinking about that today, actually. 
I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I think it's got to be the van. I think I need, you know, purchasing the van is going to be a game changer, really. I was thinking about a pressure, like a new pressure washer, but it's, um, if that, if basically if that didn't work today, I was going to buy a new one, but, um, yeah, I think it's going to have to be, I need to get a big van on the road. I really need to, um, it's such a game changer. Um, yeah, and then after that, it'll prob probably be, um, my own scaffolding tower, so I don't, because I actually costed it the other day. I think already, bear in mind, I think everyone saw my video of me using a scaffolding tower for the first time. I think I've already spent the cost of a brand new scaffolding tower in higher charges so far. So I think you can get a brand new scaffolding tower for about 1800 quid. I've pretty much already spent around that just on higher charges for my jobs, for hiring them at like 90 pounds a time. So basically everything now is just, I just feel like it's a loss, every single job, which is kind of annoying me actually. So um, yeah, I think getting my own tower sorted will be, I mean, I put the price onto the jobs anyway. So once I've got my own one, I'll lower my prices slightly because I don't need to keep costing for it. But yeah, it's annoying me a little bit. So I think get a nice van, my own scaffolding tower, and then I'll think about upgrading upgrading that thing because as far as soft washing goes and things like that um you know it's I, i've pretty much got everything now i think it's still a low cost setup because i've seen a few in the past few days people got the big giant dosatrons on you know mounted on a wall in their van and those little filters and all sorts of things pumps that it goes through and things like that um yeah i don't have thousands and thousands of pounds to be spending on that sort of thing at the moment but in the future maybe yeah um, different when the client's paying for it though. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, they are paying for it at the moment. Um, but you know, you, I could probably secure more jobs then if I had my own one, you know, it's, you know, nearly a hundred quid off the job, um, that I can take off comfortably. So, and that could literally just swing it sometimes. I mean, I put a quote in today. Uh, it was yesterday actually, but it got back to me today. It was a big five bed detached house, you know, quite a large house, but there was only, I'd say about three quarters of the house that actually had moss on it. Um, and the rest of it was just, it basically just said, oh yeah, just basically put the biocide on it. And it, I worked it out and I quoted it for 1,550, I said. Um, and I said, look, norm this job didn't need scaffolding. Um, and I said, look, normally you'd be looking about 1,750. If the whole of the roof had moss on it, it this would be an over two grand sort of job. I said, I'd comfortably, comfortably do it at 1,550. And bear in mind, this was a, a nice house. And he came back and he said, yeah, even basically I said, I can only, I can focus only on the problem areas as well. And I'll do that for 1250. Um, and he said, yeah, no, I had no idea how much that was going to cost, but that's way out of my price range at the moment. I was thinking, bloody hell, it's such a nice house as well. Um, you think they sort of have that sort of money lying around, but people don't. So anything to sort of lower the cost if you can and still make it profitable for yourself. Because I've always said like, I would not, unless a, an absolute bare minimum of 350 quid pure profit a day uh, and that's the lowest that I would go for doing roof cleaning because the toll that it takes on you physically and remember you work with chemicals and things one starting up again uh, one mistake with some biocide splashes you in the eye if you forget to put your goggles on or even when you're packing up before you, you know to go home bang splash in the eye you got a trip to the hospital um, and there's so many little risk factors in the job that it's not worth it for me to do it any less than a, a certain figure in my head um, so my bare minimum is 350 and the last time I did a job, actually it was Saturday, the last time I did a job that I made about 350 profit in a day because um, I had to pay someone um, and I had a lot of outgoings on that job but it's not, it's unusual that it happens because um, there's no point costing these jobs really cheap, um, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but anything that I can lower down that isn't actually costing me profit like scaffolding because it's already added in so if I could take 90 quid off a job every time and still be able to do the job safely, I'd be more than happy to do it. Um, so yeah, that's about that with that really. I've even got my nice shiny brand new on muddy now already look. Let me sort this out, I can't be having that. Oh, right then, sorted. 
Right, I personally hate Dosatron. I have a 250 litre over in my van. 12 volt chemical pump from Dan Components to a hose reel, works great. I don't do many roofs to be honest. Um, yeah, to be honest mate, I still haven't used it yet. I'm, uh, I've got a job that I'm starting, a roof I'm starting on Thursday, I'll finish it off on Sunday. Um, so that'll be the first time that I use it. Um, but as long as the water pressure's good, I think it'll be fine. Um, so what have you actually got? So two, 12 volt chemical pump. Yeah, the guy I was working with on Saturday, he had a big petrol, you know, uh, pressure washer set up to do his. Um, and that worked really well, to be fair, it was pretty good. Um, I think there's a few different ways to get it done properly, but man, this guy does not give up, I tell you. Been at it all day. Um, OCD much, yeah, yeah, so you're right. Right then, I've been going about 47 minutes now, so I'm gonna call it there, because I've got, I've got to tidy this up a bit and finish off this driveway. But um, yeah, it was just a bit of a quick test, really, because I'll probably do a few more of these in future at like about a time when there's more people around. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. That was uh, that was cool. That was fun. It was nice to unbox my stuff and yeah, do a bit of pressure washing. But this noise is just going to carry on, so I'll, I'll call it there. But thank you very much, everyone. It's nice to uh, nice to see you. Thank you everyone for dropping dropping by and saying hello. Uh, I do really appreciate it. So, cheers. I don't know how to end this, but I'll try it now.